we're going to review our SOMSO model of the upper limb. We're going to walk through the key number by number for the muscles that you need to know for the WAB exam. Number one, supraspinatus. You can see the scapular spine here, supraspinous fossa, supraspinatus. Number two, in the infraspinous fossa, infraspinatus. Number three, here, teres major. Just above that, number four, there, teres minor. We'll skip number five because number five is cut away. Number six, here in the subscapular fossa, subscapularis. So one more time, supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, sorry, teres major, teres minor, teres major is three, teres minor is four, subscapularis. Number seven, which I've taken off, I'll put back on, deltoid. Eight, we'll skip because we covered it on the anatomage table. Number nine is biceps brachii. The biceps muscle of the arm. Number 10, brachialis. And number 11, which continually falls off, triceps brachii. So that's just part of it. All of this on the posterior arm is triceps brachii. You can see the 11 there. Twelve here in the forearm is pronator teres. Now from pronator teres, we're just going to work in. So pronator teres. Then there's flexor carpi radialis. Flexor carpi radialis. So it flexes the wrist on the radial side. Flexor carpi radialis is 13. 14. You can see 14 ends in the middle of the palm. That's palmaris longus. Continue around to number 15, which you can see ends on the pinky side of the wrist. Number 15 is flexor carpi ulnaris. Continue around to the extensor compartment on the posterior arm. Number 16 is extensor carpi ulnaris. Number 17 ends in the fingers. That's extensor digitorum. 18. 18 is extensor carpi radialis brevis. And 19 is extensor carpi radialis longus. There are two extensor carpi radialis muscles, the short one and the long one. That brings us all the way back around to number 20, the big muscle in the forearm, brachial radialis. Now we're going to take brachial radialis off and you can see deep to that is number 25, the supinator. We're not going to worry about the deeper muscles in the anterior forearm. Or the intrinsic muscles of the hand at this point. So, those are the muscles that you should focus on for the upcoming exam. For this exam, there will be diagrams, photos, whatever I can come up with so that we can do this online. I know it's not optimal by any means, but we'll do what we can 